Hello there everyone, welcome to another episode of A Link to the Past. This is R.C. Fogarty, your host. And we are continuing where we left off. Um, if I'm not mistaken, we uh, got the mag- We- Oh, they want to do that. We got the magic powder at the uh, at the shop here. Um, that's really about it. Hey, 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 hey you're not supposed to be doing that. Oh, screw you then. I'm going. Alright, we're going to go to the next destination that we need to go to. Uh, if I'm not mistaken, you have to go get one of the... Uh, go with the uh, last pendant. And we're getting shot at. Whoa! Out of the way. There we go. That's a lot better. That's the best one so far. Okay, and I'm already running out of stuff to talk about. This is amazing. As I'm getting hit. Thank you. Hey, hey, hey. You can die. There you go. Alright, spend some there for whatever reason. Do that. And there's that. Alright, that was awesome. Alright, let's lift this rock out of the way and climb into this cave. Okay, and this cave itself is uh, pretty easy to get lost if you don't know what you're doing. But if you go the path that I did, you'll run into this guy. I don't know who you are, but if you're going up, to, up the mountain, will you take me with you? I lost my lamp, so... Alright, All right, let's go for a walk. Uh, watch your step. There are holes in the ground. Could you turn right here? Young man, are you also going to the mountain to look for the golden power? Just ahead is a mountain full of monsters. Many people have vanished in this mountain while looking for the golden power. I don't want to steer you wrong. But please don't get too involved in such a mad quest. Well, I wasn't intending to go for the golden power, but now that you mention it... Nah, not that greedy. Uh, turn right here. You know, I have a granddaughter who is your age. The king took her to the castle and she never returned. Kidnapping those maidens must be part of the wizard's plot. I am sure he is trying somehow to use the power of the descendants of the Seven Sages. Well, that's what we, exactly we do know. He was going to open up the, uh, up the gate to uh, open the seal. Anywho, we will come to Death Mountain and we are seeing monsters and boom. Whoa, rocks! No, oh, damn, I got hit by The missing maidens are still alive somewhere. I believe that a hero will rescue them. I wait for that day. Uh, these are dangerous times. I've talked too much. Anyway, thank you for being so kind to an old man like me. Uh, I wanted to give you this. If you wander into a magical transport and gaze into this mirror, and behold, we get the magic mirror. This mirror is blue, clear, and beautiful. You feel like it's going to pull you into another world. Interesting, we can use that. And let's go into this cave too. The wizard has deceived the king, and now he is trying to open the way to the dark world. To complete your quest, you will need the moon pearl, which is in the tower at the top of the mountain. All I can do for you now is comfort your weariness. Come back here anytime. Arks me. And there we have ourselves full health. Sweet! Uh, let's just go up this cave. This is a shortcut, a little bit. Um, quasi shortcut. Although it's a bit of a long way to get to a certain place. But oh well, take what it is. Okay, just go up there, avoid the rocks. That cave there brings us back to Kakariko. We're not going to Kakariko, so yeah, here we are. And we are at the top of the mountain, and we're running into stuff. Alright, and... I'm totally in the wrong spot. Yeah, there's a cave that I wanted to go into, and I completely botched it up, so we gotta try it again. Oh well, it could be worse. Anywho, let's just keep on going. Going like the Energize Rabbit. Just going, going, and going. There we go, made it right this time. Although I hope this is the right spot. I think it is. Yeah, it is. 
just go up the stairs. Do this. Boom. Boom. Piece of hearts. And boom. Piece number two. And what do we have here? Link, it is I, Sahasrala. You must somehow make your way to the top of Spectacle Rock. From there, you can reach the Tower of Hera on top of Death Mountain. Huh. Good to know. Alright, and we have no way of getting really through that, so we're gonna do this. There are fairies there, don't need any. And... Mold Arms, I hate jerks. Okay, we gotta go through here, climb this... Climb the ladder again. Let's just run on up. And boom. Boom. And here we go, here we go, and what is this blue thing? And it's an odd pool of water. Let's water can do it. Oh no! We transform. And we are transformed to a bunny and where the bloody hell are we? Whoa. This is weird. This is weird. Where am I? Uh, I think this is what uh, the old man was talking about, the Dark Worlds. Whoa. Um, wow, this is amazing. Oh, hey there. Whoa, tumble tumble. Hey, you were turned into a bunny. The terrain in this world looks like the terrain of our world. But it's just a little difference. And anyone who wanders into, a, into this land has changed into a shape that, that reflects its true nature. Ah, so I guess we're transformed into a bunny because that's our true nature. I suppose it's gentleness and compassion, I suppose. Anywho. I'm cha I'm always changing my mind, so I turn to a ball. But if you have a ball called the Moon Pearl, you can keep your original shape here. Good to know. And I think I just heard that from a guy a couple moments ago. Hey, what do you want? Do you got something to say to me, silly rabbit? Yeah, tricks are for kids. <laughs> I came here to get the golden power, but I can't go back to the real world like this. If only I had Moon Pearl from the Tower of Hera, then I could, then I could change back the way I was. I got good reason to be stressed out. So back off, now scram! Okay, fine, screw you, jerk. Anywho, let's grab our mirror, go to the top here, and boom, 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 piece of heart, and we're back in the light world. And as you can see, there's the tower. And let's see what's this. Ooh, weird Hylian writing. We got the Book of Mudora, and that says, Hold up the Master Sword, and you will get the magic of ether. The power of the ether nets. <laughs> Anywho, just go through here, go through here. Boom, boom, double boom, and we're in the Mountain Tower. Also know this is the Tower of Hera. Alright, so let's just get the hell through here. And get the boomerang out, and... Actually, we're just going to do this. Boom. Boom. That was unnecessary. That was completely unnecessary. So we got to redo it. There we go. That's the way it needs to be. Okay, go back up here. Do this, and there's a crystal switch there, but oh well. Link, it is I, Sahasrala the Elder. I have some advice. In the dungeons, you can gaze into the magic mirror to return to the entrance at any time. Do not forget this. Good to know. And I'm being hit by Moldorms. Die. Thank you. Whoa, what are these guys? And fire-breathing folk. Weird. Anywho, I believe this is the map it is. Yada yada yada, stuff we already know, and... That guy doesn't take the boomerang bottle while we're going down these stairs. And we get to be attacked by the floor. I hate this room. Oh well. Just, pretty much all you can do here is mash the B button. Or run and get hit a thousand times. But oh well. Anywho. I'm just going to keep mashing B here. It's going to be the easiest thing to do because I'm not going to take damage. That's all. Hey, hey, hey. I took damage. Bastard. Alright. Oh, come on. There we go. There we go. Oh, come on. 
No! No! There we go. And last one. Okay, that did not go as well as I'd hoped. But oh well. Anywho, do this. Avoid the Moldorms because they're going to kill us and we're beeping, beeping, beeping. That is annoying as all hell. Uh, okay, and just slide all these things here. And behold, we got the big key. Exactly what we can use. Uh, yeah, I'm going to grab the mirror and just go back to the entrance. That would be easier. And zoom. Okay. Alright, and here we are to the next floor. And we got these guys who are very hard to beat. And we're just putting them down the hole. And if you fall down there, you actually fall down to the hole below. Wow, that all rhymes. <laughs> that is amazing. Anywho, let's just keep on doing this. And go through here because we are running low on health. And I have only a fairy. I'm not going to use that. Anywho, there we go. And... There we go. And... Alright, up to the next four more Baldorms. Hey, uh, hey buddy, how's it going? Hey! Okay. I need a heart. I desperately need a heart. And I almost let them hold on to spawn for a moment. Oh, not a heart for 20 rupees. <laughs> okay, I'll take the money. Uh, now we got the compass. Not that it's needed because the treasure is right in front of us. Um, and more messages from Sahasrala. Link, it is I, Sahasrala the Elder. Yeah, we know who we are by now. An orb known as the Moon Pearl that rests in this tower. He who holds the Moon Pearl is protected, and his form will not change in the Dark World. You must find and escape from the tower. Do not forget the Moon Pearl. Now, you know, I've actually done this once during a playthrough. I actually forgot to get the Moon Pearl. Um, not exactly the best thing to do, because what happens is... Yeah, you actually turn into a rabbit, and you're told by... You're pretty much told by Silas uh, you might want to get the Moon Pearl. I could demonstrate that, but I don't feel like it. there's probably more videos on YouTube about that. And I just made a stupid mistake. Good job, Ross. You're that amazing. Alright, let us continue on. Okay. Okay, we gotta actually change the, uh... The pattern here. So do that. Make sure this holds up here. Go through the top, because otherwise you go through the bottom, you're gonna end up screwing yourself over. Which sucks. Anywho, here's the Moon Pearl. And we will not be transformed into a bunny anymore. Alright. Back on up. Hey, not wrong way, buddy. Don't hit the wall. What the wall do to you? <laughs> okay, now another thing that I wanted to show here. You go through that hole, you start going through these vases. Whoosh, 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 and I think there's one more whoosh. No, there is not one more whoosh. But we get fairies! Yeah! Uh, should I catch another one? Nope, too late. Oh, well, doesn't matter. I got full health anyway, so it works out perfectly. Beautiful. Yeah, we can also get these pots here. Tons of hearts if we need them. And let's go on and fight the boss. Oh, Lord. The giant mold. Oh, my. The giant Moldum, how I dislike you. Alright, I'm just gonna take this jerk out. Hey, hey, hey! No! No, I am not going to fall, you jerk! Okay, you're not gonna affect my boomerang. Okay, back on up. Okay. I'm going to hit you because I hate you. That was the worst lyrics ever. Wow, that was that was grade A horrible. 
Whoa, did not go near that hole. Because I will drop you down not one, but two floors. Okay. There we go. Just a couple more. Okay, he's gonna be moving. No, he's not moving fast yet. I think he takes what's six. <laughs> no! <laughs> okay, I can't help but laugh at that. That was just. Wow. That was just. Wow, that just. Uh, that sucked. Probably just cue the Jim Moore quotes. Couldn't complete a bit. We just sucked. That's all. Couldn't do diddly poo. Okay. There we go. There we go. Just gotta keep hitting him. Oh, there we go. Finally, I yes! Thank you. Good job, Link. Good job. I get the heart container. Awesome. And we get the pendants of wisdom. Behold! We have gotten all three pendants of virtue. We finally defeated Moldorn. That is amazing. That took much longer than I thought it would. Alright. There we go. Um, I think we're gonna leave this one off right here. Hey! Actually, nah. There's nothing else I need to do in this episode, but I think the next thing to do is to get the uh, Master Sword. Which is fine with me, and just jump down the mountain. Anyway, we're going to go back to Kakariko. Actually, we're going to go back down off the mountain and probably just send it off there. And, uh, it all works out. Alright, and we're going to end this off here, folks. Uh, so I'd like to thank you all for watching. Again, this is R.C. Fogarty. And, uh, see you guys later. Later, folks.